Hello, welcome to the lesson on controlling an LED using Raspberry Pi. In this lesson, we will interface LED with the Raspberry Pi and then we will write a program to control RGB LED. So we will see how to blink an LED in this lesson. So what is blinking an LED? Blinking an LED is so simple. Already we seen this in Arduino. So blinking an LED is turning on LED and then we have to wait for some time and turn off LED and then we have to wait for some time and it should continue. So it should run inside of the loop. Okay, turn on LED, wait for some time, turn off LED, wait for some time and it should continue. This is actually blinking an LED. To turn on or to turn off an LED, we have to connect this LED to GPIO pin. So we have GPIO 21. So that is actually pin number 40 on the board. That is actually physical uh, board numbering. Whereas GPIO number is GPIO 21. Okay. So we have connected an LED positive to the uh, GPIO pin 21 through a resistor. So we should use a resistor in series with uh, the LED. Okay. So you can see in this uh, circuit diagram. The positive terminal at the positive terminal of LED we connected a resistor and the resistor end should be connected to GPIO 21. You can use a 300 ohm, 330 ohm, 400 ohm. Okay, so any resistance but it should be greater than 200 ohm. Okay, so that we can uh, you know uh, limit the current flowing through the LED of you. Okay, and here you will see that the negative terminal of LED should be connected to ground. So cathode we have to connect to the ground whereas the positive terminal should be connected to the GPI 21. Right. Now uh, it's simple logic when uh, GPI 21 is high automatically the LED will receive 3.3 volts when LED receives 3.3 volts LED will be on. Okay. If G at GPI 21 if we send 0 volts then the voltage at the positive or anode of uh, LED is 0 volts then LED will be off all of you. Okay, so we will try to control voltages at GPIO 21 by using Python program. Okay, now we will write a Python program to control GPIO 21 or pin number 40. So first we will interface LED with the Raspberry Pi. So we need the following components. Okay, so we need the Raspberry Pi and we need LED, a breadboard, and resistor so we use 330 ohm resistor or you can use 300 or nearest resistor okay so now we are going to build a circuit so this is the resistor all of you we are going to connect in series with the led okay so first we will insert led on the breadboard okay you can see the long terminal is positive and short terminal is negative so the long terminal anode all of you so we have to connect that to gpio pin okay right now insert on the breadboard right so once you insert on the breadboard the next step we have to connect a resistor in series with the positive that is a long terminal okay so connect in series with the anode all of you anode of led so you have to insert one terminal of resistor in the same vertical of the positive done right once done now take jumper wires all of you now what we have to do is we have to connect the end of the resistor to the gpio pin so that is actually physical uh, number 40 or gpio number 21 so connect it to 40 okay so right so done so now uh, take another jumper wire from cathode of LED, we have to connect this to ground on Raspberry Pi. So connect now. Right. And another end of this uh, jumper wire. So this is the male to female uh, all of you. So connect it to fifth pin. That is actually ground pin. Okay. So on Raspberry Pi, you can see here, this is the ground pin all of you. So now we made the circuit. The circuit is complete now. The next step is we are going to provide voltage from GPIO 21 or 40 pin 
okay so uh, that is physical 40 okay so to control led so we'll be doing that now now we will write the program of you go to raspberry pi open line external so now we will see python 3 here python 3 open python 3 now i will import rpi.gpio module import rpi dot gpio module so we'll be using this module or library to control gpio pins or to read sensor data coming from the sensors into the raspberry pi okay so import rpi dot gpio so this is the module so you can check uh, various methods present in it so we'll see here bcm BCM is to set more to BCM numbering, board is to set to board, okay, and there are other uh, methods as well like setup, set mode, okay, and we have you know input, output, you can see here output, input. So these are all different methods we are going to use uh, now. So I'll show you how to use them. Now we will write the program, okay, so. Uh, press ctrl z to come out of python now we are in the linux terminal so create a program nano space led blink dot py blink dot py you can give any name so we are creating a python file so now the first step is we have to import rpi dot gpio module so import rpi dot gpio as gpio so now we are giving a local name that local name is gpio okay so now this gpio contains many methods so first thing is to set the mode so we are going to use uh, bcm numbering okay so bcm number of physical pin 40 is actually gpio 21 okay so right so now gpio dot dot so this is the module name inside of the module we have a method set mode set mode here we have to pass either gpio dot board or gpio dot bcm so pass here gpio dot bcm now we have to set uh, mode okay so how to declare the pin mode here to declare the pin mode you can use gpio dot so it contains a method called as setup setup so gpio dot setup so here we have to pass two arguments one is pin number so the pin number is 21 comma and then you can either give here input or output so we'll be giving here the output so we are making pin number 21 as output pin so gpio dot out out so this gpio dot out is to make a particular pin as output pin so we are making 21 pin as output pin now we are going to create a loop you know how to create infinite loops by using while true while true while true column and one more thing we have to you know give delay right we have to wait for some time to wait for some time you need to use a library what is the library we are going to use we are going to use time module so import time so time module time module contains a method called as sleep okay right so while true now right here first we have to give 3.3 volts output at the pin number 21 so that led will be on okay so give here gpio dot to provide output voltage at 21 pin uh, gpio 21 you have to use here output method method output gpio dot output so give here pin number 21 comma gpio dot high to give 3.3 volts give here high now led is on when you give high led will be on once led is on we have to wait for few seconds so for example we want to wait for one second to wait for one second give here delay so to provide delay we use time dot method is sleep time dot sleep give here one second so now uh, here the you know uh, we will wait for one second after one second we want to turn off the led to turn off the led instead of you know high we have to provide here low once you provide low the voltage from 21 pin will be 
zero volts. So GPIO dot output twenty one comma GPIO dot low. Right, and then we have to provide here again delay time dot sleep one second. Now it will be on. Wait for one second. Off and then wait for one second. Right. So now you you are able to understand this, and this will be continued all of the LED on for one second, off for one second, and it continues forever. So now we are going to run this program. Control O, press Enter. Control X. Now when we run this program, you will be able to see uh, that LED is blinking. Okay, so LED will be on for one second and LED will be off for one second. We will see that. So Python three space LED blink dot py. Now run this program. Now it is running. So now you can see the results all of you. So now you can see that LED is on and then wait for one second off on. So it continues forever. Okay.